I'm here in Loveland, Colorado, where they're actually manufacturing the ride kick, and this is unit number one right here. In case you haven't seen this thing in action, oh, I'm going to show you what it can do. We're going to go from a standstill right here all the way up to full speed. Here we go. gets going pretty fast. Are you ready to go for this? Let's do this. Okay, be careful now. Okay. <laughs> there it goes. It's pretty quiet. I mean, you can hear that slight, slight buzz, but that's the sound of the electric motor pushing it. Yep. There and she it goes. turns people's heads. That's <laughs> one of the things we like about the sound right now. Yeah, I guess it's it's actually nice to have a little bit of sound so that, you know, people can hear you and you're not just this stealth. So she may do the move that's called the ride kick, which is showing that you don't have to be pedaling to... Yeah. Oh, that's it right there? <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, all, that's fun. There we go. Yeah. Woo! Totally fun. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. We did. I don't know. Did the one you used have a tail light on it? It did. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we got the you know, I love that that flashing. There's little LEDs in there. Yes. That's awesome. And um, of course, one of the things that was interesting to learn about is all about warning labels. And our warning label here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this. It's a special edition. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> this is the first one. So everybody who was involved with it uh, today signed it. Ah. Uh. And sorry, the warning labels, is yeah, this another? So, yeah, just it's not intended to hold people, especially not children, of course, or, uh, pets. or animals. And the weight limitation is 75 pounds in the, the bed of the trailer here. And then this lid is not designed to hold weight on top of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just want people to know you can't carry anything on top of it at this point. It's all got to be flipped inside. But remember that uh, the lid when we come out with our next edition lid, this lid is designed to come off very easily. Oh, yeah. So our subsequent editions can we pop snap off. right back on there. And I, I was also told that it's pretty water resistant. Yeah, it is. We've it's had it tested dry. in uh, the wetlands of the United States, in Portland. <laughs> I heard uh, Seattle, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, in the, in the rain there, so we know it's good. I've got to say, these guys are just, you know, really positive. They've, they've done it right. They've spent the last three years working on this thing. And uh, I think it's really turned out well. It really seems like they've thought of just about everything.